Today, we're going to demonstrate how to share maps with ArcGIS. We've used ArcGIS Desktop to create a map of weatherization model results. The darker colors represent high-priority counties to weatherize homes in, reducing energy demand. I want to share this map with other users, so I'm going to create a layer package. I can right-click on the map and choose Create Layer Package. Now that I've got a layer package, I want to upload that to ArcGIS Online. This is the ArcGIS Online homepage, and the site's open to anyone. I've already logged in, so I'm going to go to My Content, Add Item, and I'm going to pick up the layer package I just created. I'll also type in a tag for other users to find it. So this will take a few seconds to upload to ArcGIS Online. OK, now that I've got the layer package uploaded at ArcGIS Online, I want to share it with a private group. Groups are a great way to organize and control access to the content that you share. I'll go to Share, and I'll choose the US Energy Group to share this with. Now I'd like to introduce my colleague, Maria, who's going to show you how to find and use the layer package that I just shared. Thanks, Rob. As Rob's colleague, I'm interested in the analysis and the work he's done. And a quick and easy way for me to get at it is through ArcGIS Online. Rob's already invited me to the US Energy Group, so I just have to go to my groups. And you can see I'm a member of two groups, Portland Maps and US Energy. I want to look at the content available. And there's the layer package that Rob just uploaded. I also want to look at the metadata to make sure that it's the map that I want. Now, you just saw Rob create the layer package in ArcGIS Desktop and then upload it to ArcGIS Online. Now, I'm going to open it up in ArcGIS Explorer. ArcGIS Explorer automatically downloaded and opened the layer package. I could have also opened it up in ArcGIS Desktop. You can see that all of the original cartography and data have been preserved in ArcGIS Explorer. Now let's look at this map in 3D. You can clearly see the high priority counties for weatherization and I can also click on it to fit the attribute data that Rob shared as part of the layer package that he just created. Back to you, Rob. Thanks, Maria. <laughs> now let's look at another way to share your GIS content using ArcGIS Online Web Maps. Just like layer packages, you can share your map services and create mashups with no programming. We're back at the ArcGIS Online homepage, and I'm going to do a search for wind energy. I get a couple of results, and I want to explore the US wind potential map service. I can quickly preview it in my browser. I see it's what I want, and I'm going to create a mashup simply by clicking Add to Web Map. I've just created my first web map. I want to add some more layers, and I'm going to do a search for population growth. Again, I get a list of results. I see the map that I want, and I click Add to Web Map. I've just added my second layer to the web map. I'm going to go in and set the map transparency to better visualize what I have on the screen. And I'll set it about right here. I can see around Colorado areas of high wind energy potential in red, surrounded by areas of high population growth in green. And I know that if I build wind farms here, it'll be most efficient. When I'm finished with the web map, I can save it for other users to find and mash up with their own maps. So in summary, ArcGIS Online is a great way to bring your GIS data to life by sharing it. 
We've developed ArcGIS Online as a collaboration tool for the GIS community to easily find, share, and use GIS content. Thank you.